So a rapper that goes by the name of Bloomberg G's, if that's how you pronounce it, it's an artist that's actually out of Philly. You already know. I tell y'all all the time that inside of literally every single inner city hood, there are multiple wars going on. The youth are going at each other. And I'm talking about taking each other out at alarming rates. And yes, the music is what's fueling it all. Anyways, so I'm gonna let y'all know about this rapper. He actually just got killed. Now, he was actually on the run as well. He was actually on the Phillies most wanted list for a few murders that they believe he committed, but we'll get right into the details right after the intro. Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I want to give a shout out to the notification game, Key Talk Game, for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyways. You already know. So the rapper Bloomberg G's that was actually at the top of the most wanted list inside of Philly pretty much saying that he was a mad serial killer. At least that's what they believed that he was. You know, I'm talking about who knows, you know, innocent to proven guilty. Anyways, so he was on a run, but while he was on a run, he was still getting busy with the ops. You know, I'm talking about the ops was still dissing on the ground, dissing in their songs. So, you know, some of these times he was dissing, they was actually getting turned into a pack. Uh, one op actually did and somehow some way that I've ended up out the way you know, I'm talking about in the sky with the most high in the afterlife uh, and then of course he dropped a song called 48 hours where he pretty much said he was doing all that dissing and we waited two days how you end up dead in 48 hours anyways well it looks like now the street life has actually caught up to the guy you know I'm talking about man you know the official report says 22nd district double shooting 1800 North Woodstock Street at 817 p.m. One adult male was struck once in the foot. So pretty much they were having a shootout. He was with his partner. One adult male was struck in the foot and was transported to Temple Hospital uh, by police placed in stable condition. Number two adult male John Doe, which I'm guessing that's the rapper guy, uh, was struck once to the head and transported to Temple Hospital. So obviously, you know, he was actually placed inside a critical condition after he was struck in his head, but his partner was actually struck in the foot. You already know how it goes. If Buddy well not if he passed away because he actually did pass away of course you can see his comment section family saying it uh but you know how it's gonna go you know talking about now they gotta spend about block back for buddy since they actually taking him out and seeing the fact that he was actually like a rising rapper and he put in a whole lot of work as well you know talking about put a whole lot of people in the dirt according to his own lyrics anyways so as the war continues literally inside of all 50 states every single state is already world war uh, three started you know talking about the world war three been started in the hood and it ain't never stopped in the hood the wars in the hoods have been going on for 30 40 years you know i'm by and they don't look like they're gonna be stopping we'll just have to see how it goes anyways r.i.p to all the family r.i.p to everybody involved r.i.p to those who have lost their life in the streets and r.i.p to those that will lose their life in the streets let me know some coming down below let me know what you think about this entire deal i'm out